Mr. Holmes, I see what you're up to. Mysterious stranger pursues betrothed woman. But please, let us keep things professional. I have in my possession an envelope containing details of a special assignment for you. Tell me, are you interested? I believe I am, but to be very clear, Miss Sirtle, my interest extends to the message and not to the messenger. Hmm. So he claims he's not a gal sneaker, seducing women everywhere he goes. Perhaps the truth is even more scandalous? Please spare me the speculation and return to the matter at hand. A gang of smugglers, the Eels, have Cordona in their clammy grip. The British Empire can abide it no longer. Mycroft insists they be disbanded. But this organization only falls with the capture of their odious leader, Friedrich Panzer. And note well, I did say capture, not kill. Inside your envelope is a map marked with the eels' warehouses. But alas, we do not know in which Friedrich Panzer resides. Hmm. So even Mycroft has his limits. Indeed. You must be sure to identify the correct warehouse before entering. Because once one is compromised, the other's occupants will scatter. Here are all the files, and feel free to use the archive too. Again, do not enter the wrong location, nor see any harm done to Friedrich Panzer. Miss Sirtle, if you're quite done with the redundant instructions, I shall get to work. Well, that's perfect. Tortured hero lashes out after rejected romance. Tomorrow's edition will be a sensation. Good luck, Mr. Holmes. Bunch of loafers. What a bunch of loafers. Excuse me, just one question. Yes, friend. I know something about this business. I'm coming, Sherry. Just give me another second. Do you know where I can find Friedrich Panzer? And who the hell are you? Are you tired of living or just plain stupid? Leg it, you little rat bag. The paint is fresh. This symbol was drawn recently. My cross former should be somewhere around here. Try not to mess it up or you'll blow his cover. I'll be right here. Do you know anything about this? Brother, you found the right person to ask. Ugh, great job, Sherry. You had one chance and you blew it. If only the boss were here, he'd show them. I'm coming for you. Ugh, great job, Sherry. You had one chance and you blew it. Help me, please. Hey, you're a lucky man. I know about this. Yeah, he could have been more helpful, but all right.
Damn it! If only the boss were here! He should! It's all yours now. Go for it. Don't cry, you'll live. <sighs> Panzer is captured, but alive. Now to report to Miss Sertel. I did use the location of Friedrich Panzer and was able to apprehend him. So I heard. What a coup. Congratulations are in order. And a new article in the paper. Perhaps a sterling stranger squashes smugglers? How kind of you. I'm sure, with little more thought, you will land on the perfect headline. Huh? Uh, with a little more thought, uh, you're no writer, Mr. Holmes. Leave it to someone who knows what sells. Since you're here, Mr. Holmes, how about an interview? Uh, strictly on background? Get to know the real you. Mycroft is rather tight-lipped, as you know. Information is Mycroft's currency, and he does not disperse it lightly. He will tell you a barefaced lie without hesitation if it advances his cause. As for your request, I'm afraid the real me pales in comparison to your vivid imagination. An interview would do us both a disservice. Hmm. Perhaps it's best to let the mystery be. Uh, now, on to other matters. We have another case for you. Are you interested? My attention is elsewhere at present. Perhaps another time. Mycroft trusts only you to handle the situation. The envelope will remain here until you are ready. It seems you have had a change of heart. Are you ready for another assignment? I shall give it my full attention. I do not doubt it. Here is the envelope. I'm afraid I was forbidden from reading about the case, but it should hold everything you need to know. Dusty. Hasn't been touched for a couple of days. You did wear your favorite boots. Such devotion. <sighs> Angelo's footprints end here, abruptly. Not a good sign. Colourful piece of fabric as a bookmark. An elegant decision. This must have left a grievous wound. Eleven cigarette ends of the same brand. Somebody spent some considerable time here. 
Someone had to stand here for a couple of hours at least. A hasty job by an amateur, but Angelo was taken by surprise nevertheless. Do you know anything about this? Of course. Let me help you. Green silk, a bit worn and faded, but still an impressive hat. Someone desperately tried to stop the bleeding. I think I found the place where they took Angela. Don't bother moving. You've lost. Take a rest, my friend. Give him the pep. Overcome the brute now. Don't bother moving. Give him the pepper snuff. I'm coming for you. Too simple. I couldn't miss the party. No more crime for you. Give him the pepper snap. Take a rest, my friend. The snuff's ready. <laughs> Don't bother. Give him the pepper snuff. We can overcome the... Coming for you. Don't cry. The snuff's ready. <laughs> Too simple. Give him the pepper snuff.
Oh, they've got themselves a nice setup in here for a gang. The bandits had as much fun as they could. They were tracking down Angelo. Keys of different shapes and sizes. What could you open with these? Bloodstains all over the mattress. Working for Mycroft is a dangerous profession. I feel for the guy. He sustained a great many injuries. They severed his finger while he was still alive. At last, I found you, Angelo. Primary instrument of torture. How vicious one must be to have to use it in such a way. A severed finger. No one deserves such cruelty. Quite a collection of books, but none of them with FD as the author. Mycroft should know about this. Ah, the illustrious Mr. Holmes returns no worse for wear. And with a gripping tale to tell, no doubt. While the matter proved rather simple in the end, I'm afraid the details are not for your ears, nor your readers. How very tantalizing. Your brother asked that I collect your report, and a book if you obtained it. Here is my report, and Miss Sertle. He will know if you opened it. I couldn't find the book. Mycroft will have to do without. <laughs> he is not someone accustomed to failure. Well, if it truly matters, the man can go and hunt for it himself. Is that it? There's something else. I found a ring belonging to one of Mycroft's men. Did he mention anything further? Alas, no. Well, the man was a hero. Protected the secrets of the British Empire. Here, please deliver this ring to Mycroft. I'm sure he'll know what to do. Is... I, I don't understand. Miss Sertle, I'm afraid neither do I. This is his ring. My Angelo's ring. Angelo Dondolo is your fiancé. My God. Your brother told me Angelo was sent to Roma. What happened? Where is he? There's no need to worry. Angelo's mission was covert. He probably left the ring deliberately. I suggest you carry on as normal for Mycroft. Well, if you trust your brother, I, I suppose you're right. But I do worry. It's not Angelo's way. Uh, thank you for the ring, Mr. Holmes. Now, please, there are matters to which I must attend. What did you hide, Angela?
Seems like Mycroft will get the book he wanted after all. Do you think it has a coded message inside? Crime and Punishment by Fyodor Dostoevsky. Ah, the illustrious Mr. Holmes returns no worse for wear. And with a gripping tale to tell, no doubt. While the matter proved rather simple in the end, I'm afraid the details are not for your ears, nor your readers. How very tantalizing. Your brother asked that I collect your report, and a book if you obtained it. Here is my report, and Miss Sertle. He will know if you opened it. I also retrieved the book for Mycroft. Crime and punishment. This sounds appropriate. More than you may think. Aha. Uh -huh. How so? With Mycroft involved, I'm not sure I can say more. I suggest you take this up with him. After all our time together, this is how the story ends? With a whimper? I thought you were a servant of truth, Mr. Holmes. Angelo died in the line of duty, but his bravery saved countless others. No, 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 not Angelo, not my Angelo. I, I don't, I don't understand. I'm sorry, Yasmin. Uh, my cross kept this from me. I am one of his best, and he kept it from me. He assured me Angelo would be fine, but he lied. You are not the first victim of Mycroft's cold calculus, and you won't be the last. Your work has value to him, and the truth threatened it. Well, by hiding the latter, he has lost the former. Thank you for your honesty, Mr. Holmes. Now, please. I wish to be alone. Mr. Sherlock Holmes, I presume? Correct. With whom do I have the pleasure? Emilio Estevo. Happy to make your acquaintance. I am here on behalf of Mycroft, your brother. He is on his way to Cordona. In the meantime, he requests your assistance with a sensitive matter. My orders are to provide you with the details. You have my attention, Mr. Estevo. Mark Ridley, the son of General Arthur Ridley, is being blackmailed. Suffice to say, the compromising material is of a delicate nature. The matter is of no small importance to the Crown, especially given the status quo on Cordona. What about the status quo? The Ottoman population holds a certain animosity towards the colonial rule. It's been this way since we took over the island. General Ridley made concessions with their leaders, but I'm afraid we are still teetering on the edge of open hostility. What does Mycroft want me to do? Retrieve the blackmail material? No, sir, nothing of the sort. Mark Ridley is meeting the blackmailer atop the old city bridge tower. You shall observe from a distance, then establish the blackmailer's identity. Do not attempt to arrest him. We'll handle it from there. Saving the best for yourself? Fine. There is a cafe just over the bridge that provides a good vantage point. Please report to me when you are done. I'll be waiting for you here, and remember, discretion is of the essence. Do exercise some restraint, Mr. Holmes. Find the who's and we'll handle the why's. Here, grab a seat. Here, grab a seat. You even brought a book, huh? Uh, may I have...? Same as always. You just don't give up, do you? Oh, come on, let's get closer. We can't see anything from here. No, too early. So we're just going to sit here all day? Patience, John. I have a feeling this is more than simple blackmail. We'll be close when the blackmailer leaves, and then... Go! stabbed several times before he fell. The shape of the wounds suggest a curved blade. 
The knife is missing. Head trauma, fatal. Gravity is cruel like that. A rather frivolous accessory for a military man. Shame it's all bloody now. It's almost like he's dancing. Dancing the dance macabre. Oh, who's it? A key, and where there's a key, there's a lock. No signs of life, no pulse. I'm declaring Corporal Ridley dead. Please move along. The police are on their way. Everything's uh, under control. Is it now? The General's own son has fallen out of the tower, and not without help, it seems. I need to inspect the scene, and quickly. The Corporal? He ordered me not to let anyone inside without telling him. But now... Wait, are you saying it's a murder? I see no connection. I see no connection. Hardly proves anything. A brief examination of the body was enough for me to conclude that he was murdered by a blade of Ottoman origin. He can't possibly be so certain. Oh, I can be. The corporal suffered deep stab wounds which were inflicted with great force. They were made by a knife meant for cutting, not stabbing. A curved blade such as an Ottoman Jambir or a Gurkha Kukri. I haven't seen any Gurkhas on the island, so the conclusion is quite obvious. Amazing. You do seem more than competent. All right, go in. I'll wait here for the police. Did you see anything suspicious? No, sir, nothing. Corporal Ridley had to attend to some private matters upstairs. No one went in, no one came out. Oh, but that means the killer is still inside. Are you sure you want to go in alone? I'm not alone. I have my friend with me. Your friend? You mean, your gun? There's no one at... Never mind, I'll be fine. I hope the police find the murderer. The killer's gone. Vanished into thin air. Imagine if we'd been able to get up here ten years ago. Oh, it would have been the perfect base. This blade is a naval officer's dirk. Sharp and well cared for. The edge is covered with blood, but the tip is clean. <sighs> this cigarette is still smouldering. Smell the body odor, John. Someone's been hiding in here. Someone sweaty. Unless it's a laundry chest. But then it's a different mystery altogether. The case of the vanishing sweaty pantaloons. There's a nice view from here, don't you think? Exactly 100 man gears. The killer didn't touch them. Thank you. 
You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. You're not even trying, Sherry. Concentrate. Ridley was attacked by his blackmailer, but before being pushed out the window, Ridley managed to wound him. The killer must still be bleeding. Come on, let's take the rope down. I'd rather take the stairs. Ah, what a bore. So what happened? Was there anyone upstairs? No, the killer escaped. We're dealing with a carefully planned assassination. Do you know if the corporal had any enemies? Someone who would want him dead? No, uh, none that I know of. But then again, there's always the Ottomans. They'd want all of us soldiers dead, I reckon. What can you tell me about the deceased? We were from the same unit, stationed together at the barracks by the bridge, but I can't say I knew him well. Maybe someone at the barracks could tell you more. I hope the police find the murderer. Was a rough landing. Amazing, right? Disturbing is more like it. Aha! Uh -huh. A curved knife covered in fresh blood. There we go. Aha! Uh -huh. A curved knife. Hmm. I doubt that this eagle is purely ornamental. Careful, Sherry. I can't do it. Go away! I'd better what? leave the knife here. Uh, now is a bad time to ruffle any feathers. Stop that! Don't touch those! The barracks are off limit to civilians. A good choice. A good choice indeed. You aren't here to relieve me from duty, are you? Oh well. Could you help me? Ah, I know this, yeah. Let me help you. Do you know anything about this? Ah, I know this, yeah, let me help you. Are you able to help me? 
I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. Is this familiar to you? I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. Ridley's blood is on Ottoman. Ridley's blood is on Ottoman hands. I just know it. May I ask for your assistance? I don't know, but I'm sure there are others who'd be glad to help a fellow in uniform. Nice. A room after my own heart. A little austere for my taste. Can you imagine me wearing that uniform? I think I'd look rather dashing. Being the son of a general must be difficult. Rise all the way to the top. Make me proud, son. There are scratches on the floor. The locker was moved. That's quite a hefty sum. Enough to start a new life. <laughs> Two tickets to London would have been a very different ending for the corporal's story. You are not welcome here. Sit up. Don't part. Let's pick something that suits you. A good choice. A good choice indeed. You are expected. Quickly, come in. My love, oh, I'm so... Who are you? Where's Mark? Answer me or I'll call for help. You will do no such thing, Jalen. We both know it. How do you know my name? And why are you wearing this scarf? What has happened? A flood of questions, but I only have one answer. Mark Ridley is dead. No. This cannot be. You're, you're lying. Tell me you're lying. Keep your voice down, miss. I don't have time for a lady's hysterics. Mark has been murdered, and I believe that the murderer is part of this house. No. It was a secret. We were meeting. We were... How could anyone find out? The truth always comes out one way or another, but enough of this. Tell me, have you seen anything suspicious here? No, I... I heard the 
the servants talking about blood near the main entrance, but I didn't think... This is too much for me. I can't. Why did you have to be so mean to her? I wasn't mean. Now is not the time for pity. Is that... I'll be right here. I'll be right here. Leave me be. I'm busy. I'm busy. Leave me be! A bloody trail. Let's see where it leads. Pile of fresh clothes. <laughs> How convenient. All soaked in blood. Well, a fresh shirt is as good a lead as any. So, think you can identify the killer on the first try? Huh. Do you doubt me? Do you think they'd mind if I washed my shirt? I haven't changed in days and I'm um, starting to smell. Maybe. The killer is wearing a fresh shirt, remember? This chap looks like he's been rolling around in mud. What are you staring at, you crazy woman? So, here you are. The wounded eagle in its eerie. What the hell? An Englishman here? Why are you wearing a dress? I understand your confusion. It's been a turbulent day, hasn't it? Do you have any idea who you're talking to, Brit? Indeed I do. You are the proud son of this house. Proud, but wounded. You keep it well hidden, but you're far too nervous to think straight. So please let me explain while you catch your breath. I am Osai, son of Hassan. You are on my father's property, and yes, you had better start being convincing. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I have every reason to believe that you were involved in the murder of Mark Ridley. Are you accusing me? Have you completely lost your goats? This is crazy. Ha! 
Certainly no crazier than the callow way you ambush the corporal. What are you saying? What's all this pickled cabbage? I'm saying, please pardon the metaphor, he was a fishbone that became lodged in your throat. You had a strong motive to see him dead. All right, that's enough. First you sneak into my house, and now this? We'll put you down like the rabbit dog you are. That's right, I am. I recovered the murder weapon. It bears an eagle crest, the same crest that is so proudly displayed within your house. And a proud house we are. My father speaks for all Ottomans on this island, remember that. Regrettably, I failed to detect much pride in the callow way you ambushed the corporal. It couldn't have been very comfortable for you inside that chest, waiting to catch the corporal off guard. Couldn't you find a better place to hide? You're a fine one to talk of tactics. You're dressed as a woman. If you'll pardon the metaphor, he was a fishbone that became lodged in your throat. You had a strong motive to see him dead. At the heart of this crime is a woman, Jalen. I wonder who she might be to you. Your wife? Mm, unlikely. Your sister. Enough! Don't you dare say a word about my sister. It was he who led her to sin. That son of a dog, Mark Ridley. He spat on our traditions and brought shame to our family. His father promised us peace, but I knew how it would be. You feed the crow, it tears your eyes out. So you've risked the peace to right your honor. I had no other choice. Not that you'd understand, Brit. I believe peace between our people to be more important than this terrible incident. You want peace? Well then stay away from my family and never speak of this to anyone. I won't say a word to the police. It will only complicate matters. There is no need for further bloodshed. You're not so stupid after all. Now get out. Mr. Holmes, I trust your mission was successful? Successful is hardly the word I would use. Mark Ridley is dead. But what? How? Explain. Blackmail was a ruse to kill Ridley, but I managed to track down the culprit. He comes from a very influential Ottoman family. All things considered, I chose not to turn him into the police. I see. Your prudence is commendable, Mr. Holmes. What will happen now? I cannot tell. I am just a piece on the board, same as you. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to report to your brother immediately. I honestly can't believe you let the killer go. I thought it was a joke till the very end. <laughs>